Finland is going to introduce new separate social security system for the immigrants for the newly arrived immigrants so this is uh, basically a drafted proposal this is not yet a rules so this proposal might get as a rule in, in near future so in this video I will talk about this so if you want to know more about this just watch the full video from the beginning to the end so you will know everything about it so who will be applicable for this uh, separate social security system so these rules is basically for the asylum or refugees their family members and the spouses of work permit holder or if you have a, a permanent residence and if you bring your spouse this is for the spouses but if you are a student this is not for you because you don't get any integration benefit in finland so these rules will be applicable who is getting integration benefit in finland this is basically for the newly arrived immigrants but what about the uh, people what about the immigrants who are living in finland for a longer time yeah they have also mentioned a uh, rules for the uh, people who will uh, live here for a longer time basically they have mentioned that uh, if you want to get full social security benefits you need to live in this country for a longer time they did not say exactly how many years but they might follow denmark and in denmark you need to live there for eight years to get full support from the social security system eight years families will not get child home care benefit after arriving into finland they need to live few years to be eligible to get the home care allowance or home care benefit for the children in finland one of the parents get child home care benefit for taking care of children until uh, three years from zero month to three years you will get this child home care benefit but in the new system you will not get it you have to stay in finland for a few years and after that you will get it so if you come to finland you won't get this benefit directly then social assistance and labor market support will be replaced by a integration package it means they will give you uh, a support for few years maybe one year two year or three years i don't know exactly but currently this is uh, three years integration time is three years in finland so you will get integration package it means they will support you support you for a few years and after that they will not give you any money if you don't go for a job or if you are unemployed income support will be replaced by the same system so in Finland if you have low income you will get income support from the uh, from Kela or from the social security system or if your family income is uh, low you can get uh, income support or uh, for your home rent or for your uh, living in Finland but this income support will be replaced by integration package and uh, if you don't have work for a longer time you don't get any type of income support so the new government is proposing the level of language skill will determine unemployment benefit or unemployment support so if you are good at uh, Finnish language or Swedish language you will get full support from the uh, government or from the social security system but if you are not good at uh, Finnish language or Swedish language, you might not get full support. And expert have been criticized this because this may not be the rules, my guess. So what is the positive impact of this new system? So government is thinking that more people will head to the job than before. So many people will uh, try to find job and uh, there will be less unemployment in uh, Finland and there will be more integration in Finland. What is the negative side? Experts are thinking that people, uh, poor people will increase in Finland. 
so there will be poverty more poverty so more crime will increase so what does mean poor people who are poor people in finland if someone if somebody earns uh, less than 1277 euros 1277 euros he is considered poor in finland and similar the, the similar rules that i mentioned similar social uh, security system was implemented in denmark in 2002 and it increased poor people and crime in denmark and there was a catastrophe back in 2002 to in Denmark so experts are concerned about it and they are uh, quoting that this this uh, separate social security system might bring more poverty in Finland and more pe poor people and this is not good at all so the rules are getting strict in Finland a uh, few days few months back there were new rules uh, new rules proposal was for citizenship and permanent residence and for uh, work permit holder and now this is coming separate social security system and Finnish citizens have will have their own uh, social security system that supposed to be one social security system for everyone but not anymore they are going to make separate social security system for the foreigners and separate system for the uh, Finnish citizens so if you are uh, planning to come Finland think wisely if it is the right choice for you I am not going to tell for you this is you if you think Finland is the right choice then this is the right choice for you but try to find a job before uh, getting nothing. So if you are unemployment, unemployed, try to find a job as soon as possible and leave your comment about this uh, new drafted proposal. So see you to my next video. Until then, have a nice day. Take care and bye-bye.